Right then, this is Sharky from Sharkhead. So, today we've got a huge update on the 32 terabyte hyperspin build. Um, so, let's go up the list. So, we've added a new wheel, <coughs> which is our comics collection wheel. Um, all custom themed, done by me, all custom video backgrounds. Let's go into the comic selection. Now, there's over 100 gig of comics, but um, I've only managed to add a few hundred um, ready. So, as we go through each comic book, um, we can go down there. And then you should have the um, comic art book come in from the side. And then if you wanted to load a comic book up. Loading. Loading complete. So you'll start off from whatever page you last were on as well. So when you exit this, you'll come back to the page you were last on. Um, some of these comic books, wait, most of the comic books are pretty small. Um, so you've got about five to six pages e each book. Um, so let's move along. Um, and there you can read the comics. You can't change the settings on this, so you can just have one page, have it stretched, and so on. Um, I'm going to map the keys for the arcade controls as well, so you can just move along with the arcade controls. And then if you want to exit, you would just press your left pinball button. <coughs> um, cycle through again. And we've got quite a big collection on there, as you can see. And a ton of comic books on Loading. there. A um, few customers, wait, quite a lot Loading of customers complete. weren't too bothered about a comic collection. There was one or two people that contacted us to say they would love to see some comic books on there. Um, they're pretty simple and straightforward to add as well if you want to add your own um, stuff on there. Um, I think the C, B, Z files. Um, once you've got a couple of your files, I've got templates and stuff like that, which for the Sharkade owners, um, I'll at a later date do a video. I've got tons of tutorial videos I'm going to get done. Um, I've just spent the whole weekend. I mean, I had three hours sleep um, in the past few days, just constantly working on these drives. Um, we've So if we go back and then go back to the main menu we'll head down the next system was something i wasn't we have said for a long time now i wasn't going to add but i've ended up biting the bullet and going with adding the original xbox stuff now i haven't been through to test every game um at the moment yeah, i think about 95 percent of the um wheel art is there as well um majority of the wheel art is on here and then as soon as you go in load the game Maybe. i think there's works around 800 games on here Maybe so a complete. nice big collection to add to the um system the 32 terabyte build um 800 xbox games will keep pe people busy and keep keep people happy so I don't have my Xbox controllers plugged in at the moment, so I can't go through and test the controls. But um, what we'll do is we'll just go ahead, Loading. load a couple of games, see if they load up to the main menu. Like I say, I haven't fully Loading tested complete. the games. Um, I've tested a few GTA and stuff like that, um, and all that seems to work great. Um, gameplay seems great as well. Um, like I say, I haven't gone through and tested every game, so I'm not sure if every game's gonna work as it should do and um, that's something i'll do at a later date go through test each game just to see if it's working and playing and stuff like that and then um if there's anything non-working i'll just remove at a later date but as things go everything that i have tried so far other than one or two games i did come across Loading. um seems to work fine so loading complete
So let's head out of there. And like I say, there's a huge collection, around 800 um, games on there. There's a few missing the actual artwork, but I can't get the artwork um, of a few of these straight off the Xbox emulator website, so I can grab the artwork if needs be. I do have the Madden, Madden games there, but as you can see, I've got majority of them. I will, like I say, update this at a later date. Now, the media folder is starting to get pretty full um, for the standard 8 terabyte. I usually keep all my media files on the 8 terabyte drive and then um, what I do is I just put the systems, ROMs, emulators on new drives if needs be. But I try and keep everything on the 8 terabyte and then, <coughs> excuse me, and then what I do at a later date uh, wait, what I do is have everything else on the add-on drives, but the, you do need um, around 20 gig left on the drive. Um, now the drive is getting practically overfilled. So what I've had to do is I've had to create um, shortcut links because you can't just have um, standard shortcut to the media folder so in the media folder now i have the pc games plus on a separate drive and um a few other new systems that we've added on a completely separate portion on, on a separate completely separate drive um and then i've used uh, i think it's syslink creator or simlink um use that to then redirect the drives if you ever use that you've got to be careful of what you're doing um you can end up accidentally overwriting folders and losing a lot of data so you've just got to be super careful of what you're doing with that but um i've like i say i've created in my media folder to pc games plus and a few other new systems um over a link over to another drive um and it seems to work spot on so let's head um down <clears throat> So I've shown off the PC cheat wheel before. Um, you can go in, load in a game, um, and then the cheats will be there for that game. We have a few titles on there. A lot of the next gen titles. Resident Evil 4 um, is gonna be added ready. And so will um, The Last of Us. So. I'll be getting The Last of Us added to this list and Resident Evil 4. Now we do have Resident Evil 4 out. I did set it up on the menu, um, but I'm getting another version of it. Um, so we will have Resident Evil 4 on this drive. I'll probably put it back on tomorrow or it might be sometime through the week. Um, but it's, uh, I'm going to get it sorted tonight if my internet stays decent i'm gonna get it on tonight now i've removed all the other games of the pc plus wheel and um, just so i can show off what's new on the 32 terabyte build and then what i'll do is i'll update the database um with all the 16 terabyte 24 terabyte stuff and stuff like that on the database on the pc plus wheel so these are all the new titles that's been added to the system so we have 30xx um, which is a Mega Man game. Um, we have Pl a Plague Tale Requiem, um, Ambush, Ark Runner, um, Ark Survival Evolved, a Set or Corsa Competi Zone, um, Estrigos, Atomic Heart, Bendy and the Dark Rival, Berserk, Black Future. Now, a lot of these games were requested by a single customer. He's went through, got a lot of uh, videos, uh, trailers of games um, that he wished to have on the 32 terabyte build. Um, so I've gone, found all those games, um, and got those added. Um, and there's some really, really cool titles. Um, we have Blas Blasphemous, um, Black Faith, um, Boris and the Dogs Survival, which is another bendy game. Call of Duty, the original Call of Duty. We've got Call of Duty Black Ops. We've got Black Ops 3, which is getting re-added. Um, so that's not loading at the moment. Um, I'm busy getting the zombies for that. And I'm going to get the multiplayer added also. 
that will probably be done um, mid mid through the week um, because the version I had just wasn't working so I'm having to re-download it my internet's not too great at the moment so it's a little bit slower um, than usual um, so over a hundred gig game is going to take a couple of days um, Call of Duty Ghost we have Call of Duty Modern Warfare Call of Duty 2 we have Call of Duty Advanced Warfare we have Carry On um, Choo Choo Charles which is a weird game I've played a little bit of that it seemed alright um, Circuit Superstars we have Clash Artifacts of Chaos Clive and the Wrench Crisis 2 Crisis 3 Remastered then we have Dakar Desert Rally, um, Dark Light, Dark, 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 is it? I'm not sure how you pronounce it, D-A-R-Q. Um, DC League, um, DC Justice League, this is the comic book style one, a new game. And then we have Dependent Fire, Dying Light 2, Become Human, Elden Ring on there. We have Everspace 2, Evil Below. Evil is back, which is an Evil Dead game. Um, I haven't had a chance to play it properly, but I've tested it. Um, looks okay. Um, Evil West. We have Project um, Zero, which is a Fatal Frame game. We have First Squadron. Which is a Star Fox type style game. We have Gear Shifters. Which looks like a cool um, Death Race style Micro Machines game. Looks pretty cool, having that chance to play it properly. Um, I haven't done the configuration of for the arca arcade controls by default, a lot of them should be Xbox controller. Um, I can always do an update, a joint key update on the systems or a X360 C update for the controls and just um, upload those to the Google Drive. And um, we have Ghostbusters Spirit Unleashed, um, Ghostbusters the Video Game Remastered, God of Rock, um, which is like a Guitar Hero style game, I believe. The mysterious God of Rock has revived the souls of the universe's greatest musicians to clash for his entertainment. Revitalized with new bodies <sighs> and new powers. We have Gotham Knights, we have Gun Jam, um, Gun Grave Go. We have Guts, have a nice death, um, high on life as well. I've had this on the 32 terabyte as well for quite a while. I didn't realise I didn't actually do the wheel art and stuff for it. That's why it wasn't shown up on the menu. Um, I quite like this game. It's done by the creators of Rick and, Rick and Morty. Um, I quite really like the game. Um, I've played quite a bit of it. Hogwarts Legacy, we have Jitsu Squad, Joe and Mac, um, Joe Joe's Bizarre Adventure, Katana Zero, Nightcrawlers, Lich and Veil, Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, Minecraft Legends on there, we have Monster Energy Supercross, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, um, Moon of Dalton, Dalton, Darcelon. Right, we have my friend Pedro. I believe there's a second one of this coming out soon as well. So, for today's recipe, you're which is a run and gun style game. We have Nailed. So I've been adding a bit more driving games. There's one or two um, Need for Speeds that couldn't be added. Um, that had issues. We've got um, NASCAR 21. Hot Pursuit. So we have Need for Speed Hot Pursuit on there. We have Need for Speed Payback. Need for Speed Heat. Need for Speed Rivals. We have No Man's Sky. Noita. Off-Road Racing. One Finger Death Punch. Cool little game. Um, it does need the control set up. Because um, it is a keyboard and mouse game. Where your mouse game. You press your left and right mouse button, and what it'll do is it'll um, fight. 
but what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the arcade control so you just have to press two buttons and um, I think you'll get a better experience from that than using a keyboard and mouse. We have one piece Odyssey OVE Pinball FX3 update Project Cars 3 we have Red Dead Redemption 2 re-added on there with the new settings. We have Red Out 2, Resident Evil 4. Now that, like I say, I'm re-downloading. Um, the other version had to run through Steam. This version that I'm getting doesn't. So um, so I like to keep the units offline. You don't have to install your Steam, run your Steam and stuff like that. I've completed this game a few times. Um, and the cheats are brilliant on it as well. So this will be a perfect addition to the 32 terabyte build. We do have Street Fighter 6, but we have the bait at the moment. I believe the um, Street Fighter 6 game, once it's released, will be instantly um, sorted and added on. So we'll have the full version of that added on soon. We have Rhea, we have Rims Racing, Rogue Spirit. Romancevania, Romancevania, Sackboy, Big Adventure, Saints Row 2022, Scarface, we have Scorn, we have Serious Sam 4, we have Session, Skate Sim, we have Sherlock Holmes, The Awakening, This looks pretty cool. Skinny skinny and Franco Fists of Violence. Like I say, I do have to go in and map the arcade controls with quite a few of these platform style games. Um, <clears throat> they should be working with the Xbox controller straight off the bat, but I am going to map games like this to the arcade controls. We have Sons of Forest, um, SpongeBob's new game, Squad 51. Which I'll try and map the arcade controls with that. Um, Stranglehold. So it's John Woo Stranglehold. We have Stray Blade. So we have a lot of old games. A few old games and some a lot of the newer titles. Straight Lights is another title. Now on the final, final build of the um, 32 terabyte. Uh, some of these games are also going to be added on a PS5 wheel. Because um, some of these are PS5 exclusive games as well. And we have Street Fighter 6, the closed beta. Um, I haven't got that set up on this yet. I'm just waiting until hopefully next week, the week after. And then we should have the full version of that. So that will be changed over. But um, if you watched one of my previous videos, you've seen us playing the Street Fighter 6 closed beta. We do have... Um, Tesla, Tesla Grad 2, the ancient, as, as, I can't even pronounce it, Ascent, the Ascent, bloody hell, the Chant, um, I played a bit of that, it wasn't too great, um, it was alright, it wasn't nothing amazing, the gameplay bugged us a little bit, um, Dark, Pictures Anthology, The Devil and Me is a quality game. Um, I've completed this game. I've also played all the other um, Doc Pictures Anthology games. There should be the other one, Little Hope. I did get the other titles, um, Man of Medan, and I forgot the name of the other one. Um, I did have those two titles, but those weren't installing correctly. Um, they had errors with them, so I'm going to re download those and get those added as well um I re if you like games like the quarry you'd like love these games they're really really good games um little hopes a quality game nice story driven game and the devil and me those that one and there's a vampire one as well um man and Medan, i don't think i don't think i completed that one but it's a little old that's the first one and um, the graphics isn't as great um, but the graphics on these ones are quality, especially the new one, Devil and Me, well worth a play. And we have Godfather Part 2. We have The Last Case of um, Benedict Fox, which is another new title. 
After the end of the Great War, it came to light that atrocity... The Last of Us Part 1 is also on there. I'll not load that because it takes forever to load the shaders. I've, when you do load the game, when you get a shark head unit, you'll have to leave this a good hour to two hours. Um, if for some reason, it takes forever to load the shaders on the first initial load. Once you've done that, load in and you should be good to go each time. Um, the the last stand aftermath, we have ta the Legend of Tiding. She Shanding is it? Um, looks pretty cool little game. We also have the messenger. And um, I was looking at this as well. It, this is another game I want to get me hands on playing at some point. <clears throat> Like an old school Ninja Caden style game. We have the Outer Worlds SCE. Um, I, I think this is like a second one. I don't know if it's a second game or if it's like the Borderlands game where you've got one in between the second one. Like a follow one. And um, we have the Quarry. I love this game. Such a good storyline. Such beautiful graphics on it as well. Um, well worth the play. If you're on to your story-driven games, this is one of those. Um, every choice that you make can alter the ending of your characters and stuff like that. Um, we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Now, this is the update of it. I'm going to do some tests on the arcade controls when it comes to the four-player unit. We have um, Trek to Yomi, which is a Japanese-style side-scroller. We have Trinity Trigger, we have Uncharted, Thief's Legacy of Thief's Collection. I'm going to add the second part of that as well. I did have it added um, on the other drive, but I'm going to add the second part as well. So you're going to have two of those. We have Urban Trial Tricky. Now, I do like the Urban Trial games. I've played quite a few of them before, so I may add a few of those as well, just to fill the drive up. Um, we have um, Valferis. Valfrifis. We have um, Vengeful Guardian Moonrider. We have Wanted Dead, Wild Hearts. We have um, WWE 2K23. <clears throat> and back to 30XX. Like I say, we do obviously have um, more games on the PC Plus. So all the games you've seen in the previous build as well will also be on here. So you're going to get hundreds upon hundreds of um, next-gen titles and new titles and stuff like that. Um, like I say, I'll do a um, follow-on video showing off um, Resident Evil 4, maybe some gameplay on that. And I'll show off in the next video of these games loading and playing and stuff like that. Um, so nice little collection like i say the 32 terabyte drive is almost full Um there's still a few games i want to add like i say which is going to take up a few hundred gig um and then i think one of the main ones would be tekken 8 to add once that's released and um, get that added to the system and um, if you wish to purchase this as an upgrade for, as a shark aid customer um, the 32 terabyte drive if you've got the 24 terabyte or the 16 terabyte you can purchase this drive um, it's 300 for the drive um, if you're going from 16 terabyte up to the 32 terabyte you'll have to I think it's 600 for the two drives for the full upgrade um, with the lower end setup you, you're not going to be able to get the 32 terabyte build you will be able to get the um, 24 terabyte build but that will be minus the next gen titles um, so that's it really um, did I add was there anything else I think that was it and um, we do have like a CRPC um, stuff which I think I showed off before there as well the cheat selection 
So that's it. Um, make sure you like, share, subscribe to the videos, hit that notification bell. And if you wish to purchase a Shark Aid unit, hit me up at dean at sharkaid.co.uk. Go to our website, sharkaid.co.uk. Um, we have tons of updated products on there. We've um, now added the 32 terabyte drive as an option on there as an upgrade option. Um, so when you check out, you can go in and select the drive. We are no longer selling the drives as well um, for non Sharkade Arcade owners. So you can only get one of my drives if you're a Sharkade owner itself. Um, any any sales of drives is not permitted. So like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch us in the next one.